Talk with Amy, and we are back with the Grassroots Challenge. This is part number 47, but this is our first part with our healer, Pine Bell. Pine is a teen, and we are starting off with his lot. Um, the children of the founders, which we are now starting to work with, all have to build a $35,000 lot uh, house, have a lush garden, and marry and start a family, but then they also each have a specific thing that they have to do. And Pine is our healer. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? He's going through a teen thing. Are you going to do homework? Well, do. Carry on. Carry on with your homework. His mom brought him his homework beforehand. I had her move into the lot real quick, give him his homework, and I moved her right back out so he'd have his homework. So, um... For our healer, our healer has to complete the insect collection, grow all the outdoor retreat plants, uh, max the herbalism skill and the wellness skill on top of doing everything else that he would have to do. And he is going to be the one who delivers all the babies and, and cures everyone of sickness. After he finishes this lot, people will have to call him over to have when they're going to have their babies and all that sort of stuff. At least I think that's how it's supposed to go. I don't know. But right now, we don't have to worry about all that because what we have to worry about is getting him through his teen years. He is a teen. He has 13 days to aging up. He's not in bad shape. He's got responsibility. He's pretty good on manners. He's actually in the green on everything. He's not currently going through a teenage phase, so that's good. Um... He doesn't have his notebook. I just realized he doesn't have a notebook. Why are you coming up? Pop up. Uh huh. He doesn't have his notebook. He lost his notebook along the way. If I had known that, I'd got his mom to bring him a notebook. I guess we can buy one. Because all the kids had a notebook that they were supposed to bring with them, and I was going to pay for it. So I guess we'll just have to buy him one. Oh well. It'll be fine. So all the kids have to... Let me let me look at some more rolls. Um, they all have to go to school and do their homework. They can only eat food that they have grown or found growing. They're not supposed to eat grilled food. They can't have a... Oh, hey, bro! That's Oak. He just grew up in the last part. Oh, and look at our action figure. He had an action figure in his in his pocket, and I told him to put it down, and he set it down right here, and now we can't do anything with it. Uh, Pine does not own this item, so we're forever going to have an action figure stuck out here on the sidewalk. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to start our garden. We have a strawberry. <laughs> we have a mushroom. We have a carrot. We have some spinach. They are all superb. Did you finish your homework? You did finish your homework. I am very impressed. Go ahead and plant all this. Hey, sis. How you doing? You need some social. We might stop one of your siblings. Or we may go and... and acquire the gardening skill. What kind of skills do you have? You have your level three fitness skill, and then you have one and a whole lot of different things. You've just got the gardening skill, so when you finish that, we can water our garden. The problem with playing pine is that this is our first house in this neighborhood, so we're having to wait on things to spawn. So. And we're starting on Saturday afternoon, right after Oak's party, because Oak just had his birthday party, and so this is starting right after his birthday party. What a messy, messy, messy. And things are just now starting to come up, but it's going to take them a while before everything spawns. Why don't we... We could talk to your siblings. They're, like, everywhere. We could talk to her. There's your dad. 
we do have some stuff down here why don't we come down here and dig this up dig this up all the plants are just starting to come up and stuff there's no food out because if there hasn't been time for everything to spawn oh there's some froggies this place I think has lots of frogs if I do recall correctly doesn't have a lot of diggables but it has a lot of frogs let's see this is off limits lots of folks out and about let's see oh yeah that's right you can go way down here because there's a frog thing down here And there's a frog thing over here so we're gonna at least have two frogs to breed to get some money they might not be good frogs but we'll have two frogs and then everything else is up but not are we gonna have any snapdragons here there are snapdragons here right strawberry I know we have strawberries I'm not worried about strawberries there's a snapdragon so we can eventually oh let's jog 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 going into our first night here on our own of course pine has been moved out he was the oldest and he's been moved out for the longest He loves the outdoors. Oh, did I ever go over the traits again? It's been a while since we've seen him. He loves the outdoors. He's a vegetarian. He's creatively gifted because he finished his aspiration. He's a happy, he was a happy toddler and he's a collector because his aspiration is outdoor enthusiast because he has to max outdoor enthusiasm anyway. So I figured that would be okay. Let's go ahead and extract our fossil. We're going to sell no we're not going to sell that we're going to sell our treasure map our fossil we got was $45 because we start with no money are you going to go do your extra credit homework seriously child you are just too responsible we're going to sell our $10 frog we're going to breed our $30 frog and our $100 frog of course we would get a $30 frog but that's okay better than nothing Better than nothing, where are you at? He's over here at... He's over here. He needs some social, but he's wanting to do his homework because he's so responsible, a child. We raised very responsible children, the Bell family. They may be, if nothing else, they are responsible. Of course, that's mainly from doing homework. And part of the rules are that the kids have to do their homework. And so... Of course he's getting hungry and there is no food so hopefully something by tomorrow will have spawned so that he can eat because we're starting on a Saturday so he doesn't get to go to school and have free food for until Monday so yeah Shives. <laughs> and we got $165 which is not enough to buy a toilet yet and this particular neighborhood does not have a toilet. It does not have a potty. So we're going to have to buy one. Well, uh, yes. <laughs> yep. It's going to be a hard life that we're living, but it's going to be okay. I don't know how it's going to be okay, but somehow we will make this work. Okay. We don't have anything else we can do, but we can start meeting some people come and give a friendly introduction if you want the kids manners to go up you do friendly introductions it causes their manners to go up and we do have to eventually find a spouse so there's no reason why we wouldn't do some friendly introductions and just get to know people and he this will get his social up She's a bookworm. 
We'll let them have a little bit of a social time. Yeah. She's an astronaut. You want to stargaze? We'll get, get some fun up, get some social up. Always good. I don't know what we're going to do about the toilet. He's going to pee himself. But if I understand the rules, and I'll be the first to admit that... Oh, dude. What are you wearing? Um, I have read and reread the rules, and the way that the rules are written, it gets confusing sometimes, because things almost feel like they contradict themselves. But, the kids, if I understand correctly, cannot travel... In order to travel to festivals, you must be a young adult already in, with a garden of eight fully grown, with a lush garden, and have at least 7K lot value. That's to travel to festivals. But I'm taking it that you have to have that to, to travel all together. But I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not sure if I'm allowed to like travel to the park and use the bathroom there. Additional rules can't have outside service people um, when you meet sims outside the oh we didn't evangelize no we're supposed to evangelize vegetarian benefits I forgot I just get confused by the rules I just do and I'm not sure if he's allowed to travel. That's my whole thing is, I mean, there's part of me that's like he, he's not allowed to travel because you've got to be a young adult to travel. But it says to traveling to romance festivals, flea markets, spice festivals, or geek con, you have to be a young adult. It doesn't say that you can't travel at all. When a child ages to teen, they're set up in their own lot with no money. You have to grow a lush garden. You have to go to school and do your homework. You have to eat only food that is grown or found growing. Once you have aged into a young adult and made enough money to buy a full kitchen, you can start cooking. You have to financially support themselves without having a job or career. And you believe that Newcrest is the only town we need and therefore traveling outside of town is not allowed. But it doesn't say we can't travel, actually. I keep thinking in my head that I'm not supposed to travel. But it doesn't say anywhere that I can't travel. It only says I can't travel outside of Newcrest. And it says that I have to be an adult to travel to the festivals. So, could he travel to the park and use the facilities? I'm leaning toward yes, yes he could. But I, I, I'm caught between I really don't want to break the rules, but I'm, I'm unsure of the rules. So I don't think I'm breaking a rule if I take him to the park. And if he went to the park, he could harvest stuff in the other neighborhood. And then he'd have food. I know you're about to leave, but I really was supposed to evangelize vegetarian benefits to you. So can I do that really quick? So I'm not breaking any rules. And then you can leave. Thank you. What kind of friends did we make with Liberty? We're friends with Travis? Brief frog. And we got a $30 frog again. We're not looking out. We have $195. Okay. Who are our friends? Well, look at this. Because he's been on his own for a while. He's friends with Travis Scott. That's all family members. He's friends with this girl named Sara, who is a teen. He's friends with Don Lothario, Marcus Flex, Dominic Fries, but he hates this Milo person who is a vampire. He's a master vampire. 
this relationship is tense. Things are likely to go awry. Okay. What we have to decide here is whether or not we can travel. And I cannot find it in the rules where it says I can't travel. Only where it says I can't travel outside of Newcrest and I can't travel to... I'm going to travel. I hope I'm not going to break any rules, but I'm going to travel. It says I can't travel outside of Newcrest and it says I can't travel to a festival until I'm a young adult. Yeah, we're just going by ourselves. But I can't find it in the rules where it says I cannot travel until I'm a young adult. It just says I cannot travel to festivals until I'm a young adult. And I've m met certain requirements. And if she meant it for you cannot travel at all, she really should have spelled it out clearer. Because I feel like I'm allowed to travel as long as I don't go crazy. So we're going to travel to the Founders Park. And we're going to use the bathroom. Sandy Dottie. I know you're hungry, sweetie. We're going to take care of it. But first, we're going to do this, and then you can go ahead and get your shower while you're here. I know. I know. And then we'll make a round real quick and grab you some food, because there'll be some food. Um... Over here. There's just some food. Right there. Let me guess. Maples. Pines. There is his journal. Put in inventory. I swear you kids. Ooh. We'll get you some food. Just a second. Come on. Grab the strawberries. We'll eat us some strawberries and some mushrooms. Put your journal up, which we owe for the journal. Admitted, we owe for the journal. We're going to pay for it. Because I would feel bad otherwise. I feel like I'm cheating since I let them have a journal. I'm going to sell you. We're going to extract you. Come on, Pine. I know you're starving, and the sooner you extract this... Fossilized sea monster. Well, $50. Okay. Eat a mushroom. Eat a strawberry. Eat a mushroom. Eat a strawberry. Okay, we owe... We have $315. And we owe $28 for a journal. So that's going to leave us with $287. Testing cheats on money, $287. So now he's paid for his journal. So, eat some more. Hey, sis. <laughs> hey sis, how you doing? Dag, dag. I need to sit here and eat some more. And then I need to get home eventually. But I gotta eat. Keep eating, dude. Keep eating. We're gonna fill you up with mushrooms. So how are you? Is this maple? This cherry. You need to eat another one, and eat another one, and eat another one. And then we'll check on this and see if we can... Nope. What 
does she want to do? Oh, just do a hug? How friendly are you two? You're wanting to go write in your journal. We got to go make collections, dude. Okay, fine. Write in your journal. Just, you know, she's going to write in her journal. He's going through a phase. He's feeling rebellious and seeks to challenge parental authorities. Just please don't leave your book laying there. I mean, seriously. Hey, Oak! Put your book away. Thank you. All of you need to put your book away. Okay, now we're going to finish making the rounds before you go home. And you're going to go home. We're going to snag up some mushrooms. Grab us another frog. Oh, hit us up for some basil. Uh, look for another frog. Snapdragons, we need those. Apples. Travis Scott's trying to get married into the family now. Do you see this? Dig all that up. This is the new garden that we're going to do. Which I think is too much, but I haven't decided yet. Anyway. He has to pay $20,000 on this new garden. So, when we save up $20,000 at some point, we have to, we have to deduct $20,000 out of his inventory out of his funds to pay for this garden. Him and two of his siblings have to pay 20000 each to build that garden. Which one did I do? Did I do that one or did I do this one? We'll just do it like that. Come on, sweetie. I know you're tired. You're very tired. And we'll let you go home and sleep as soon as we've made the rounds. But we need to make the rounds. Oh, he's exhausted. He hasn't slept tonight. Oh, honey. Mother load. Flea market. We can't go to the flea market. Dad, you know we can't go to the flea market. Don't invite us. Don't tease us and invite us. Is he far too uncomfortable? Where's he at? Oh, I don't like this angle. Come on, you can do it. Are you going to harvest them or not? Don't just keep walking. Okay, where's the closest... Um, where is the closest park bench? Way over here? In the park? Um, I don't think I actually put a park bench in the park, to be honest with you. There's one right there. Is that the closest one? Oh, there's some over here. I wanted to get him home before this, but he hasn't even finished making round. Can you make it this far? Come on, Pine. You can do this. You can do this. We'll get you some sleep. You can do this. Come on. Don't pass out. Just snap. There you go. We'll get you some energy. It's okay. 
Why am I not fast forward and speed? Like it's not super speeding. Well, okay. We're not super speeding. This is going to be annoying if it doesn't start super speeding. Now, I guess I can't super speed because he's technically at the park and there are people at the park, I guess. I don't know. We just need to get his energy up a little bit. We're not worrying about getting it up all the way. We'll let him slip through this and then he can just harvest the rest of the stuff. I thought there was three right here. Okay, what frogs do we have? We have a $10 frog. We got two of these. We got a $30. We got $200 frogs. Yay! But we got a hypno frog. We're gonna get rid of you. We're going to try to do the Hypno Frog with the $100 Frog. Because Hypno Frogs are wonderful frogs for breeding. Uh, it didn't work for me that time. Sometimes you can knock a $100 Frog up against Hypno Frog and get like the more expensive frogs. I don't want to sell all the rest of the stuff. Let's see if we can just forward, fast forward on. Hey kid. What you doing? You just standing there? Hey, whose kiddo are you? Oh, you don't want to talk about it? Alright. Pine, are you about up? What are you doing? You're entering a phase. No, sweetie, I don't want to come over. You're already in a phase. Aren't you in a rebellious phase? I know. You're hungry. We can eat a mushroom. Eat a strawberry. Eat a mushroom. I think we've got everything. Okay, we'll get this bluebell. And then we'll come back around and grab the lilies, bluebells. Um, there's bluebells. There's lilies. Put you on two speed. He didn't do the snapdragons, or else they've come back really quick. No, he didn't do the snapdragons. Whoa. That is an outfit. Oh, look at all that wonderful food that I'm not allowed to eat. Excellent grilled fruit that I'm not allowed to eat. It's just such a travesty. Just a travesty. I'm not supposed to eat that. But I really, really want to. And then we're making our way back around real quick. And there's more food over here. They're just taunting me with their food. Because the mushrooms are already back up. Why can't I clip on, click on them? Why can't I click on the mushrooms? Those aren't back. That's okay. We need the food. And then from there, we can come back over here and use the facilities. We're going to try one more time to do a hypno frog. If it doesn't work out for us, uh, it didn't work out for us. We're just going to stick with the $100 frogs for now. Because I can't really afford to sit there and keep. And then have you come back over here and use the bathroom before we go.
and there's even more food over here that I'm not allowed to eat. That's okay. It is all okay. Come on, dude. Hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. sweetie I know you're tired and you're and you're hungry I got you and you need fun yeah I'm with you but mainly you're tired okay um eat a mushroom eat a strawberry eat a mushroom eat a strawberry eat a mushroom just eat for crying out loud. He's canceling out of everything I'm telling him to do. Eat again. We're about to go home, sweetie. We have to be at home. It's Sunday night. You've got school tomorrow. Of course, we do need to get your fun up. And if you can... Here, eat an apple. Just eat. We gotta get you home for school. Tomorrow. Why don't you come over here and play video games really, really fast. Sweetie, really fast. Just, just. You gotta do it fast because we gotta get you home. Really fast, really fast, really fast. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And we're going home. Let's go. Let's, let's go, Pond. You got to go home. Oh, that's not good. Let me breed a frog for $100. Come on, Pond. No, you can't eat that. You gotta go home. <sighs> I hope I'm following all the rules correctly. I really do. But I can't find a place where it says you can't do certain I don't know. Oh, our garden is up. How tired are you? You're going to pass out in two hours. Do you have time to... Let's see. We could grow an apple tree. And a basil. And... Uh, flowers. Let's put the flowers up here. We'll need a bluebell. We'll need a couple of snapdragons. And a lily. We'll definitely need a couple of snapdragons. Maybe, or maybe a couple. We might need another. I hate to plant another strawberry because this strawberry bush is going to be excellent and this one's going to be normal. But we got one lily. That'll be okay. Uh, yeah, that'll be okay. I don't want too much, but I have to do... Because we can plant more. Come over here real fast and plant these. I feel like I ought to be doing two of each. Even though, you know. Now I can definitely sell these. I definitely don't want any more of those. 
thing is, should I do more snapdragons? Probably, because I can sposs them. No, I can always sell him later. He's going to pass out. Um, sell the apples. Keep the basil. We'll keep those to eat. So that's one planter, two planter, three planters. He has to have eight planters. I think if I'm reading it correctly, he has to have eight planters. As I said, some of the rules seem, seem to con con contradict themselves. He's going to be so tired for school tomorrow if I don't get him to bed. Okay, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and get those planted. See if you can get these watered real quick. Where's this a bit good bench? Um, there's benches over here. Here's our bed for tonight. Oh, did he just pass out? He did just pass out. And he's having a mood swing. I don't think he finished with that, but it doesn't matter. We've got to get him sleeping. We've got to make him, get him to morning. I know, babe, I know. Just get you some sleep before morning. Get you some sleep. Before you go to school. And Pine has school in an hour. I think we're going to end this episode here because it's been running along pretty well. So we're going to end it right here and we'll start back up with him um, in his school day. So, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I hope I will see you back here for the next ones when we see if our pine survives his teen years. It's going to be fun. Bye, everybody.